everybody, this is Leia. Um, in case you don't know who I am, maybe this will jog your memory. A whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew. Yep, I am the singing voice of Princess Jasmine in Aladdin. So today, since all of us are at home, I thought it would be a good idea to have all of us gather around a really, really cool book. And this is what I have. It's um, five minute princess stories. And from this book, I am going to read A Proper Princess, which is a Jasmine story. So here we go. Princess Jasmine felt as though every day was like the one before. Her time was spent inside the palace or out in the royal gardens with her only friend, Raja. Jasmine often wondered what life was like beyond the palace walls. One day, Jasmine saw Jafar take a bunch of envelopes from her father. Who are those letters from? she asked. Jafar stepped forward. Silly complaints from the people, he said. Pure nonsense. Nonsense, squawked Iago. Jasmine asked to read the letters, but the Sultan refused to let her. This was nothing for a princess to worry about. But father, I want to help, said Jasmine. I want to do something. Your job is to be a proper princess, he said, ushering her out to the garden. Just enjoy it, he smiled and headed back to work. Raja followed Jasmine as she paced. A proper princess? She repeated. A proper princess should have responsibilities. Raja tried to comfort her. First, he nuzzled his head against her arm. But that didn't seem to help. Then Raja let out a low growl. But Jasmine still didn't notice him. Finally, Raja planted himself right in front of her. That's when Jasmine noticed something in his mouth. It was one of the letters. Jasmine hurriedly read it. The letter was from a merchant who was upset about the old town square. He said it was falling apart. She had to find out more. But how? Jasmine would have to see over the palace wall. She tried and tried and tried, but it was a very high wall. She walked around searching for another way. Raja, I have an idea, she said, unwrapping the long scarf from around her shoulders. Jasmine tossed the scarf over a tree branch. Then Raja held one end in his mouth while she held on to the other. Slowly, Raja pulled and Jasmine rose up to the branches of the tree. She kept climbing until she could see over the wall. And there was the old town square. Jasmine saw that it was in need of repair, so she quickly thought of a plan. Jasmine rushed to tell her father about it, but he interrupted her and became angry when he learned she had climbed a tree. This is not proper behavior, he scolded. Jasmine wouldn't give up. Most of those letters are surely about the square, she said, picking up another one from his desk. Father, have you read any of them? The Sultan shook his head. Jasmine described what she had seen and told him about her idea. What Agrabah needs, what Agrabah really needs, is a new marketplace. With what funds, Jafar hissed as he slithered through the doorway. Jasmine knew in her heart that Jafar did not care about the people. I will fund it, 
she said boldly. I will happily offer my jewels for such an important project. Jafar chuckled. Proper princesses do not give up their jewels. The Sultan quieted Jafar. A central marketplace in Agrabah, he said, looking at his daughter with pride. Yes! From then on, the Sultan gave Jasmine the responsibility of reading the letters. But she also had many thank you letters to read. The merchants were so happy to see their marketplace repaired and now filled with treasures from around the world. Jasmine was happy to see it too. Climbing the tree to watch the marketplace in action always made her feel closer to the people. But most of all, she finally felt like a proper princess. I like that story. Wasn't that awesome? <sighs> Hooray for Princess Jasmine for keeping her people in mind. Well, that was our story, and I hope that you enjoyed spending time with me. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>